So Joe Biden went on Lawrence O'Donnell's program last night and he gaslit the entire progressive movement. The guy that says that in America, anything is possible, went on Lawrence O'Donnell's program last night and said he would veto Medicare for all. Let's take a look at this and then let's discuss. Other candidates, this kind of question, veto question. Let's flash forward. Your president, Bernie Sanders, is still active in the Senate. He manages to get Medicare for all through the Senate in some compromised version, the Elizabeth Warren version or, or other version. Nancy Pelosi gets a version of it through the House of Representatives. It comes to your desk. Do you veto it? I would veto anything that delays providing the security and the certainty of health care being available now. If they got that through and by some miracle, and there was an epiphany that occurred, and some miracle occurred that said, okay, it's passed, then you got to look at the cost. I want to know, how did they find the $35 trillion? What is that doing? Is it going to significantly raise taxes on the middle class, which it will? What's going to happen? Uh, look, my opposition isn't to the principle that there should be, you should have Medicare. I mean, I, everybody, mm -hmm. health care should be a right in America. My opposition relates to whether or not, A, it's doable, to what the cost is and what the consequences for the rest of the budget are. How are you going to find $35 trillion over the next 10 years without having profound impacts on everything from taxes for middle class and working class people, as well as, as well as the impact on the rest of the budget? So I think this clip just reveals that working class Joe Biden isn't for the working class at all. They should call him healthcare industry Joe Biden because that's who he's for. When he did well in Super Tuesday, the healthcare industry stocks soared. And this answer was so telling. So in this hypothetical scenario where we get Medicare for all to pass the House and the Senate, and by that point, it would feasibly be a bill that has all of the spending decided, all the money is appropriated in the bill, it tells you what you're paying for when, in this hypothetical scenario, Joe Biden would veto that. Even in fantasy land, Joe Biden is vetoing Medicare for all. And by the way, Bernie Sanders already has laid out how he's going to pay for it. Just read the bill. Read the bill, Joe. He already has how he's going to pay for it right now. And the thing is, he says, uh, how are we going to pay for it? The classic, how are we going to pay for it? How are we going to pay for this? He says $34 trillion over a 10-year period. How are we going to pay for that? We are already paying more Right now, Medicare for All would save money and provide health care for all. It would cost less. So we're already paying for it. The guy that says anything is possible in America is telling you in the best of worlds, in the, the highest of fantasies, where he's president and... The House has passed Medicare for All, and the Senate has passed Medicare for All. He would veto that bill. He tries to give himself some cover by saying, well, taxes would go up, and, uh, you know, they're not going to know how to pay for it. I'd probably veto it. No! At that point, all the money would be decided. Of course, you wouldn't sign a bill where that stuff hasn't been decided yet, and you figure it out along the way. He's not working class Joe. He's health industry Joe. He's 1% Joe. He's working for the billionaires, Joe. He's not for me. He's not for you. So guys, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping today in Super T or Mini Tuesday, I guess it's called, that somehow Bernie Sanders pulls it out because we can't have this guy in the office for four years. And he would lose, by the way. He would lose to Trump. But in the case where he actually does make it to the White House... He would not advance the progressive agenda at all. Right now, a study came out, 68,000 people die per year because they don't have basic access to health care. That number would stay in the tens of thousands with Joe. We can't have that.
We really can't. So leave a comment in the comment section, your thoughts on Billionaire Joe here saying that he would veto Medicare for all. And subscribe to join the political revolution against the mainstream media. Mainstream media is not going to cover uh, this election fairly. They're not going to cover anything fairly, fairly. They've given millions and millions of dollars to Joe in free coverage. You're not going to get that on mainstream media. So subscribe to join the political revolution.